After Effects or Nuke? A debate that's been going on for some time now. But in case you haven't looked into it at all, Nuke has been the leading industry standard visual effects compositing software for a while now. Now, if you're anything like me or many, many other VFX artists or filmmakers, you started off by learning Adobe's Creative Suite, such as After Effects. And maybe that served you well so far, but in today's video, I'll be showing you a breakdown of what you can expect in the first 10 hours of learning Foundry's Nuke. And here's why I'm making that transition. A couple weeks ago, I made a video where I used photogrammetry to make a 3D model of myself where I then rigged it and composited it into a scene that I filmed. Link is in the description for that video. To accomplish this, among many programs, I used After Effects for the compositing. However, After Effects is just now adding native 3D support to their compositing software. A little too late to the game. It's a little premature compared to the 3D workflow and other compositing alternatives. And yeah, the Element 3D plugin does work well, but even then, it's sort of clunky, it's inefficient, and it's just kind of frustrating to use sometimes. It was clear to me after making that video, it was time to transition over to Nuke. Among many other reasons, this was really the primary reason for me making this video and even transitioning over to Nuke to begin with. So let's get started. Before we get started, I have to mention that over the course of these 10 hours, I will actually be using the Nuke Compositing online course by Steve Wright, along with a few other practice projects, just so that I can get comfortable with the program. But anyways, let's get started. I pretty much spent the first half hour or so just installing and playing around with Nuke's interface. But after that, I pretty much spent the rest of the time watching my tutorial guides and following along by exploring the controls, the navigation, and the interface. As you probably expected, these first few hours were super important, but uneventful. This leads us directly into hour two. For the second hour, I literally just followed the guide and got comfortable with each part of the UI. This includes the dope sheet, the curve graph, the node graph, the properties panel, and many other submenus and their functions and shortcuts. Most of it isn't going to stick, so I'll just have to continue using Nuke until it all just kind of comes to me. Another thing that I should mention is that when I say that this is what you can expect from 10 hours of Nuke, I mean that from the perspective of someone who has a general knowledge on 2D and 3D compositing techniques and software. All to say that this process here is a little accelerated for me, but anyways, on to hour three. I was finally able to put some newly learned techniques together to use and actually composite a visual effect. A screen replacement is very common in VFX, so getting into the how and application of such common techniques is exciting. I'm finally going somewhere other than the basic tutorial at this point. It was during this hour, everything got cranked up to a new level of difficulty, and I know it sounds crazy, only four hours in and then things get difficult. Well, during this hour, I started learning important compositing operations and tools, or in Nuke, it'd be called nodes. Color correction, color grading, but the biggest fish is masking and rotoscoping. This made me lose my mind. I'm not joking either. I started to forget what each button did and it felt like I was taking steps backward. Well, let's move into the halfway point of this 10 hour challenge. And here I was finally lost. Halfway done with the 10 hour challenge and I was learning how to merge images through the merge node, which I have been doing the entire time, so that was simple enough, but then we got into merging through channels and Nuke's creative use of color channels is supposed to be a profound advancement in simplifying the compositing of pre-multiplied images. That's a lot of big words. Yeah, I struggled with this a lot, hardly could follow along, so it was time for a break. By this point, things started clicking for me again. I learned how to do 2D camera tracks, and my god, this software's tracking is so nice. The bulk of the time, though, was spent on Nuke's 3D interface. I have to say, even in this stage where I know barely anything about Nuke's 3D workflow, this just blows away After Effects. It was entirely worth the transition, but now it's time to really dig into Nuke's 3D compositing. Hour 8 and 9, I was locked the f*** in. I learned about Nuke's material nodes and their properties. I learned how to group geometry and how to transform said groups, and I bulldozed right through these two hours. 
In the 10th hour, I finally completed the tutorial guide course to the basics of Nuke and this challenge. Between playing around with the program myself and troubleshooting the issues I had because the guide I was using was from 2018, so it's outdated as it is somehow, 2024 now. Anyways, let's wrap this up. It should go without saying that the work that I did over the past few days in this 10-hour challenge doesn't even come close to scratching the surface of what there is to learn and master with Nuke. That is a process that probably never ends. This software is so complex, let alone months to actually get somewhere that you might be even comfortable with. Let this video be a sign, or at the very least, I encourage everyone watching this video to go out there and learn something or pick up a new skill. It's that hunger for learning that will drive you to accomplish any and all of your goals. But with that, I am incredibly satisfied with what I was able to learn and accomplish over these 10 hours, and I look forward to using Nuke from here on. I'd just like to quickly apologize uh, and say sorry that this is a little bit of a shorter video. But as usual, if you guys made it this far in the video and you're still watching, thank you. Every second that you give up to watch my content means everything to me. If you could do me one last favor and leave a like or a comment if you enjoyed the video, or even if you're new around here and you enjoy this kind of content, subscribe for all things film. Anyways, I can't wait to see you guys next week for another upload. Bye for now.